Good morning everyone, Ziggy here from Ziggy Zag and today is our final day here in Coron. Our flight is gonna be at 2 in the afternoon and our pickup time will be at 11.30 or around 12 noon according to the receptionist. So what we did was we asked from the reception to book us a ride going to the airport and that was the time they suggested we leave for the airport. Now guys, right now I am heading towards the direction going to Mount Tapias because I'm gonna go back to dad's souvenir shop where we bought some pasalubong items like cashew so that I'll be able to buy a summer pasalubong it's just a few meters or less than a kilometer you can see behind me it's starting to I'm starting to ascend it's going uphill a little bit I'm going to the foot of Mount Apias because that's where the souvenir shop is located so I'll see you there check out how steep the walk going to the, ma the foot of Mount Apias is so by the way guys I would like to inform you that reaching the peak of Mount Tapias is can be really challenging for some like my wife right now the only reason why I'm coming back here alone is because her legs are really sore from going up and down Mount Tapias just an FYI Uy. Oh. guys oh, I'm back to buy some stuff so I'm here guys at dad's souvenir and pasalubong shop inside dad's souvenir shop and pasalubong and these are their goodies pasalubong items so regarding the price i noticed that uh, i noticed that it's fairly the same all over the town so the price here pretty similar or the same outside so guys what i like about this place is they they gave me free taste of most of the items that you see here on the display shelf and Miss Angel the, the person who's um, I, I'm not sure if she's the owner but she was very gracious and she had really great customer service and was very much offering free taste so that I would have an idea on what to expect on the products that she's selling so again she is on just on the foot of Mount Tapias. If, you're, if ever you're here in Coron, I highly suggest you drop by this place to get your pasalubong and they also have souvenir shops here. What's the name of shop? Dad's Souvenir Shop and Dad's, Pasalubong Center. Pa. Dad's Souvenir Shop and Pasalubong, and Pasalubong Center. Yes. So we are here today. Regarding sa kasoy, ano nga yung sinasabi mo ma'am? This one po is roasted, roasted cashew po. Uh, no sugar, no salt. Um, original flavor lang po talaga to siya. In a oven lang po. Mm. Then, meron po tayong caramelized po. Um, eto po sa koron kami lang po meron niya. So, Kung gusto caramelized? Niyo, yes po. So, ibig sabihin ano to? This is um, batamis? Sugar coated po. Yes mm. po. Wala sample. Ito, um, pwede niyo po tikman. Ay, mababawas. Ay, mas Ay, mahal siya. Free taste po talaga ito. Ah, okay. Para po matikman niyo po. Ah, okay. 
Kami lang po meron. Kung gusto niyo po maghanap niyan, dito lang po sa dad's souvenir okay. shop. So guys, this is caramelized ca cashew. Yes, sir. Let's try it. Mm. Yeah. So it's baked din siya. It's baked mm -hmm. and caramelized. Sugar coated. It's, ah, sugar coated. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. This mm. one sir, try niyo po. Ito oven lang po siya. Roasted lang po. Ito yung uh, 100 per 100. Mm, meron po tayong 100, 225, tsaka 280. Ah, okay. So this is the regular baked one. Baked ma'am na? No? Yes, but roasted. Po. Roasted. Roast. This is the regular roasted one. Yeah. It's also good. But the caramelized one, sweet. If you prefer sweet, you go for this one. So as the, what's your name? Um, name um Yeah, you ba? Pangalan niya. Uh, Angel po. So, according to Angel, um, this one, they're the only ones making this. And, and this one, sir, try niyo din po ang fried cashew po. Ito po, my konting salt po siya. Ah, may clean po siya. Kaya niya nilang adobo po. Ah, yes. okay. So, this is the adobo cashew. Yes, so, let's po. try it. Mm. The adobo cashew reminds me of um salted peanuts it but the saltiness is very light so it's also nice uh, i think it goes well with a bottle of beer so guys the choices they have here is they have the plain roasted cashew they have the okay. coated or caramelized uh cashew this is uh sweet on the sweet side right this is the fried cashew which is um, a hint of saltiness and i think pairs well with a bottle of beer they also have a free taste of the cashew tart uh, thank you mom angel and uh we'll buy pasalubong for my mom and my sisters so guys i love this it's cashew and it's coated with um uh, i think sugar or something or sweetener and it's just the right amount of sweetness i like this i'm gonna buy some of these for myself i'm also gonna grab these fried cashews right here they are uh, they don't have any flavor but they Pretty much tastes like good cashew. And the cashew tart, guys. I like 120 pesos. I like this. So this cashew tart, uh, I like it. Just the right amount of sweetness. And this is only 120 pesos, 25 pieces. And they also have like uh, 50 pieces at 190. And the big ones at 370. That one. Here is a quick look at their souvenir shop just beside their Pasalubong shop. So, Pasalubong shop is there and their souvenir shop is just beside it. And if you look across, that's the foot of Mount Tapias. That's where Dad's Pasalubong and souvenir shop is, guys. I just like to clarify, this is a non-sponsored video or segment of the video. Miss Angel, bye. Yeah, oh, what is that video? Anak, anak, the son of Miss Angel, the owner of the shop, I guess. So, yeah, this is not sponsored, guys. Um, I just appreciate the way. Uh, her customer service when we dropped by yesterday and I promised her that I'll definitely come back to buy Pasalubong in her shop and I'm just keeping my word and uh, going back and got my Pasalubong stuff all right now guys just a few minutes walk heading back I'm near our hotel street from here I'll Bring this up to the room and have breakfast. So that's the agenda shortly. Guys, this is the trouble 
the result of Mount Apias. We are now back here at the same table for three days now. Here's the thing guys, the wife has been choosing the beef longaniza option for breakfast. Yesterday, uh, we came in probably late, uh, past 8, half past 8, and uh, they said that it was already out. Uh, now we're back. Uh, time is about the same time, half past 8. And when we arrived, the guy told me uh, that beef longanisa is also no longer available. I don't know what the wife got there. Uh, they, did they tell you that? Yes. What did you get? I got the dangit. So she's having the dangit breakfast choice instead of the beef longaniza, which is no longer available again. This time around, we bought our own coffee, our three-in-one coffee, guys. I ordered Hungarian. There. And this is the wife's order of dangit. She may have regretted her choice for breakfast today. <laughs> Enjoy it. How's your breakfast? It's, it's your... not totally dangit, but it's like a tinapa version. <laughs> so you heard it straight. Um, it's a tinapa, meaning it's like marinated fish. fish yeah. yeah. The reason why my wife had a different reaction for her food breakfast choice is guys in Dangit Dangit in Cebu is looks totally different and Dangit means dried fish in Cebu I'll post a picture here to give you a better idea of what Cebuanos think of what Dangit is compared to what she's having now for breakfast let's try it guys I wanna taste it Mm. The texture crispy, I like it. It's pretty flavorful. Yeah, it's like been marinated with some vinegar and some seasoning. No, it's not it's it's okay. Yeah. It's actually okay for especially for a Filipino with Filipino taste buds. I think you like it. Yeah, if you don't want to go for meat and want to settle for fish instead, yeah. Let's try the Hungarian, guys. Mm. Yeah, not bad. Taste. They only provide just a fork, guys. No knife. I don't know how, how to maneuver eating my breakfast with just a fork. The Hungarian selection is delicious, guys. So, if you're a fan of Hungarian sausages, I think this is good. The time now is 8.45. And the plan is just to wait for the pickup. So we're just gonna chill, relax while waiting for our pickup later at around 11.30 or 12 noon. Hi guys, time check right now. It's 11 in the morning and we're gonna be heading down to the lobby to facilitate our checkout, pay the bills, as well as wait for our shuttle to take us to the airport. So that's that. And like I promised, I separated the beds back again so that it won't be a one large bed. We are still waiting for our van right now to take us to the airport. I am now here at uh, Rose Dan Kainan Bulalohan Seafood Ihao Ihao. This place, guys, I met one of the partners of the owners, I guess. Uh, he also informed me that this place, if you're on a budget and you're here in Coron, you might want to check this place out. So, guys, I'll not be eating because, like I said, I'm waiting for our airport transfer. 
So I'll just feature their place for you to have an idea on what to expect here at Rose Dan uh, Eatery. This is Don Don. He's the guy. Wave Don. He's the guy I met and he uh, told me about this place. Uh, it's a place where you can get a budget meal. So let's check the food items that they have here at Rose Dan. This is their setup. This is pork sinigang. Yes, it's pork sinigang. How much? 60. 60 pesos. And then chicken adobo. They also have chicken adobo at 60. 60. Ano pangalan ni ma'am? Angeline. Si Angeline. Okay, thank you Angeline. Ito is? Chicken curry. This is chicken curry. 60. 60 also. 60 pesos. 60 pesos guys is a um, dollar. More or less. This is? Caldereta. Caldereta. Pork caldereta. Yeah, pork. Yeah. Yep. Caldereta guys can sometimes be made of goat meat, but here it's pork. And then tulingan. This is tulingan or tuna, right? Yeah. Tulingan is tuna. Ginataan, it's got coconut milk. How much? 50. 50 pesos for the tuna with coconut milk. Then, this is also fish, this is also tuna. Yeah, tuna uh, tulingan. Bangus. Yeah, tuna, local name for tuna is tulingan. This is milkfish or bangus. How much? 50. 50, this one? 50. 50 also each. Yeah. Less than a dollar. And fried egg, which is how much? Fif huh? 15. 15 pesos each. Okay. And plain rice, of course, guys. If you're Filipino, always paired with rice. At every meal, at how much per Ten cup? Pesos. 10 peso per cup. Here at Rose Dan. So if you're on a budget, guys, you might want to check this out. If I come back to Coron, definitely I will check this place out. Again, this is not sponsored. Um, I just met Don Don. And uh, for your van needs here in Coron, you can also check him out. I'll post his number. And uh, so you can contact him if you ever need vans going around the city. All right. Oh, my man Mike in the house. Our ride is here uh, to take us to the airport and uh, we'll just uh, board first and wait for the others. According to the driver, we're a total of 12 people. We are now at the Francisco B. Reyes Airport here in Busuanga, Coron, Palawan and uh, for departure to Cebu. Bus ride was around 20 minutes from our hotel to here. We are now inside the airport of Coron or Buswanga and uh, I'll show you around what to expect here at uh, this airport. Before you enter this gate right here, uh, you initial check in on that area over there and this, once you get your boarding passes, this is the airport inside. Not really uh, that big. So this is the airport. And they have shops here, food shops, uh, Jamaican patties over there, and uh, there's Masabor, and some food, other food shops, souvenir shops, island souvenirs, and there's this coffee shop behind me. And uh, we're waiting for our flight. Time check right now, it's 12.50, and our flight time is at 1.40. Boarding time is 1.40. Uh, here at the airport, it's back again with a face mask. So, yeah, back to reality. New normal for now. I just want to share some of the expectations when you, for those who want to consider to travel here in Coron. When you reach the town of Coron, there is no beachfront. Unlike Boracay, like you book a hotel, you book a room, and just a few steps from your hotel is already the beach but here you can't do that you have to book a trip or go island hopping to enjoy the white sand beach of Coron or, or its neighboring islands that's what to expect when you have a vacation or for your expectation here in Coron I hope that will help you on your plans for your travel here in Coron
finally arrived here in Cebu. We are ahead of our scheduled time of arrival and glad to be back. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and click the like button. Share this video out there, leave a comment, and please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon so that you'll be updated whenever I post a new video. And remember, life is not a straight line, but a zigzag. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, but always keep moving forward.